Hello everybody and welcome to what may be the very last cast that I ever do on Troy. We've got Hero here over in the top right hand corner, Motive in the bottom left. And yes, this map has been a pain in my side for this entire season and a dreaded map for a lot of players in the ASL, I am sure. But it's given us a few good games here and there. It's um, mostly given us two gate, but uh, sometimes it's given us a few good games and uh, I don't want to say that I enjoyed the map. I don't want to say that I, I, I definitely don't want it back. That is for sure. For next season, it had better be gone, but it'll go the way of Sparkle and uh, some of these other crazy maps, 76 and maps like that. But um, we have had some good matches and I'm hoping this is a good one as well. This comes from seawall.gg, their uh, Discord page. So I heard it was good. It remains to be seen though. An overpool start here from Hero. Gateway in the front for Motive. No two gate, which is already a good sign. Two gate. Uh, probe pull I found has been nearly impossible to pull, to hold on this map if you're going for uh, an overpool or an 11 hatchery and the Protoss player just builds you know four or five zealots and pulls probes you know seven eight probes and just attacks you I find it nearly impossible to hold I think that there, there must be some way that I'm not aware of, but it is incredibly difficult. And even if you abandon your natural and just run across the map and, you know, go try to kill the pylon or go try to kill probes in the Protoss base, the Protoss can just kill your assimilators and then kill your main. And even if you did a bunch of damage on the other side of the map, you're stuck on one base. And there's really not too much you can do. They can get Corsairs out and whatever Mutalis you decide to build off of one gas will be shut down. So I find it nearly impossible. Looks like Motive not going to adopt that strategy though. He's gonna be throwing down the Nexus here shortly with one Zealot heading across the map to pressure. Four Lings on the way here. Already a couple out on the map. And a third base going to start here down in the right hand corner now this is kind of typical to take this base here these bases are too f the the mineral patches are too small there's just not enough minerals i think at those bases i, I think they're like a thousand or something like that i can't quite remember um the actual mineral count there but they run out very very quickly and I think the gas count is lower as well. Um, it's okay to take this if you're going to make it into an island. But it's much better to take this base here. You can throw down a couple of auxiliary buildings here and just drop some sunken colonies behind it. Do not jump, drop your sunken colony here though. I learned that the hard way. Links are going to slide by here. Looks like uh, motive not to... Getting a good block there on the ramp. He will have to send one Zealot back home into the main to try and deal with this. Two probes have fallen so far, but two links go down as well. It's like we're starting to get that wall in, but there's still the gap over top of the gas guys to worry about here. Um, are more links being made? No. Four drones in production. Looks like we have some links coming out. Uh, but that's mostly just to counter what could be a move out here. Uh, whenever you do a run by, you have to produce extra links behind it because the Protoss player is very, very likely to send their Zealots out. Instead of sending the Zealots out, though, he sends the probe first and he sees the amount of links that have been made. And that's a great move by Motive. It means that he's just going to keep his Zealots back home, knowing that the Zerg has produced enough links. Um, and he's just going to be nice and safe here, which is great. It's great for motive right now. Oh, going to lose that Ling, unfortunately. Um, could try a run by on the side here, but the Zealot is prepared for that. I don't think you can slip by here. 
with Lings, but I'm not sure. That's one of those uh, specific Brood War things that... Uh... Oh, did I just miss an Overlord? I think the Overlord actually fell here. Dude, that's so bad. Are you kidding me? Hero lost an Overlord to a cannon? He totally did, didn't he? Oh my god, that's horrible. Nine drones in production at the same time. I I just I didn't even look for it, guys, because you just never expect that to happen. To a, a player the quality of hero, man. This guy. Definitely making a huge mistake there. A noob mistake. No two ways about it. That is ultimately a noob mistake. Now, putting the cannons down here may also be a kind of a noob mistake. Maybe, like, the positioning here, pretty bad. You should have some space to put another cannon there. And the Cyber Knight score is way too close to this pylon. So he's got no space for this. Um, and I think Lynx can actually run by here without even getting targeted by the cannons, which is horrible. Now the uh, Corsair's getting in. It's gonna pick off, I think, one of these. Yeah, it looks like the Hydras won't pop out in time. Maybe they'll pop out to, to damage this Corsair a little bit, but it's gonna, it's gonna lose the Overlord. That sucks as well. Things just not going quite to plan here for Hero so far. And the pressure's gonna start to come on. Motive gonna send out his Zealots, and a lot of sunken colonies are being made. We've already got three. A fourth one is gonna come up here. Uh, coming over to clear out this third base. Very quick third base here for Motive. Only seven minutes on the clock. He's already gonna be taking this. Very, very fast third base from him. A little bit surprised we're not killing uh, assimilators here, but maybe we wanna transfer the probes a little bit later. Um, so we're gonna wait until perhaps that's finished before transferring. Uh, before killing, sorry, those uh, simulators. Coming in, gonna kill some overlords here. Almost losing that Corsair, dude. That Corsair is so low. Corsair just barely managing to slip out. Just 21 HP on that. Gonna come back in and go for another overlord kill. Ooh, this is too much damage. This amount of overlords dying right now. He's got seven overlords in production, guys. Seven. I mean, it's not the worst position in the world because we did take this natural and we've got lots of sunkins and good positioning. Uh, I said not to build that there. Hero, what are you doing? I'm pretty sure that this like messes up the... Oh, okay. He put a hole on that side. See, I think what I did, sadly was I had the building right here, and then I had the sunk in there, and then the drones started popping out on this side and walking all the way around. It was really, really annoying. Um, yeah, so this positioning might actually be better. He might have fixed it there. Uh, there is still that gap, though. You gotta be careful for that gap. And of course, over the gas, there is that gap as well. Ooh, Ling gonna run in here. He could actually bring all the Lings together and just run down this cannon. That cannon will not hold this number of lings by itself. No probe support, no zealot support. There goes the cannon. Falls really, really fast. He's going to try and put as much damage on the Nexus as he can here. Uh, zealot speed is done, of course. Probes are going to transfer over. And he should be able to stop this, no problem. These are not like plus one lings or cracklings or anything like that. Just regular, uh, simple lings here. Not quite able to bust that quickly enough. And Zealots are going to meet Hydras now. And there's no cannon to back this up. He has to fight here with the Zealots. And Hero not thinking that his Hydra number is enough right now. Probably a good choice there. Back at home. Losing Overlords once again. Going to lose a lot of that supply. Fortunately not supply block. Supply block thanks to those seven Overlords he made earlier. But... I mean, just so much damage, guys. I mean, one cannon has died so far and like a couple of probes. And Hero's lost like seven overlords at this point. It really does snowball out of control. When you lose your first overlord in kind of a silly way like that, without the Protoss having to actually do anything to make it happen, you get slowed down so much and then uh, you're not able to defend your, your other overlords and things just 
continue to spiral worse and worse, further and further downward. Luckily, Motive has managed to uh, kill off these assimilators, so the third base is going to be fine for now. Ooh, a DT sneaks in here. That must have happened. I, I'm not sure when that happened. I'll have to picture and picture that. See how that DT got in there. But he's down there in the bottom right-hand corner. He's waiting for drones on hold position. This is a really sneaky play right now. Looks like Hydra's going to come down here, though, and an Overlord coming as well. Maybe he sees the little blur there. That would be impressive. I'm not sure if he caught on to that when it was running by or something. Oh, a second DT in here. And drones are going to start to fall. Finally, uh, Overlord Speed is done, though. Going after the hatchery right now. It does get cancelled. And so the majority of the drones will survive. Hydra's coming up. Oh, we need to get that Overlord in position. He will. And he does pick that off. So that could have been a lot worse. That could have been a lot worse here for Hero. But Hero here. Pulling things together. His macro is getting out of control, guys. 60 drones at this point it's impressive actually how much damage he's taken with the overlords and then how much he's actually been able to put together in terms of his macro he's already got so many hatcheries here he does not have hive but he's going for drop so drop the next order here of business i like it because motive is taking multiple bases on the islands this is what good protoss do on this map uh, as soon as they can get that uh, shuttle out, start to drop DTs in, in bases and uh, dropping probes to take island locations all over the place is a great strategy here. He's got a pretty good amount of cannons over at this base, but if you mass up, you know, three, four, five overlords worth of hydras and just drop it on top of this, it will die without you losing hardly anything at all. Oh man, this could be sneaky. He's gonna try and kill the assimilators to trap the hydras up here. Little does he know that that is not a real trap for Hero. He's just gonna load up and head out with these hydras as soon as these assimilators are dead. And, you know, Motive might be sitting here killing this assimilator while the drop comes into the center left. That could be devastating. We don't have anything in this shuttle. I think that might have been um, rallied to that position, actually. So maybe motive losing track of that. And we've only got two locations where the Protoss can actually reasonably push into right now. It's either this space here or this space here. Uh, the Dropper Lord's going to move around the outside of the map. We do not have Hive on the way just yet still. And Lurkers are not done yet either. 13 minutes in, still no Lurkers. Great storms here on the Hydras in the back line. Just three Sunkins left. Surprised that we're going to see Motive pull away here because at the same time a drop coming into his third base That's going to clean up all these probes and the cannons. Meanwhile, this army is just going to back away Dropping storms and fighting with the dragoons here as they fall back and lurkers finish up on the high ground Looking very very good right now for hero as he clears out even more probes at the natural So many probes go down there not a great transfer from motive he could have absolutely sent them to the main base and they would have ran away a lot more quickly but the probes instead were right clicked over here and so they slowly retreat and hero takes massive advantage of that dropping the probe count down to just 38 to the 49 here i guess some probes went down oh yeah that's right the uh storms here Killing off quite a few probes. He was at 60, dropping down to 48. So, lost about 10 or so probes. Coming back up on this high ground one more time. There's only two Sunkins here. Did start to remake these, but is a little bit behind the eight ball on that. Lots of storms going down, killing off a ton of these Lings and Lurkers. But he actually kills one of his own observers by accident there. One more observer goes down here, and he will not be able to break through this position. Looks like Hydra's got dropped here in the top left as well. Picked off that base. Really big moment here for Hero. Stopping Motive from taking a fourth. Because right now, this is the only third base that he has. And he's starting to run out of minerals on his main and natural army. Coming down here right now. 
No armor upgrades on that right now. 3-2 is done for Motive, so his upgrades truly exceeding what Hero can put out right now, but Hero is transitioning into Hive pretty soon. Great snipes here. Hero gonna get another Templar really, really close. Oh, it's so close, he almost gets it. Not quite able to do so though. And at these Archons, wow, that Archon with 31 uh, kills, pretty damn nasty. Cannot break up this ramp though. Archon's not the ticket when it comes to breaking up sunken positions. You really do need a good number of Zealots and a bunch of Dragoons to kind of run up and target those Sunkens down. Great storm there. Oh my goodness, the storm. So nasty as the drones get transferred. Looks like another drop gonna come over here. More Hydras making their way over to the natural. Reinforcements coming down because we still do not have Nidus over in this position, surprisingly enough. Nidus has been lacking here for Hero and the drop is gonna hit this natural we've got two kills on the lurker but looks like the probes will be pulled away for now almost breaking through here just barely not going to be able to it seems like i just coming from the behind there's like so few units overall but as the archons run out of shields he does need to retreat here a few more precious units popping out here for motive motive still not able to clear this lurker right now doesn't have an observer back at home. Finally, an observer pops out, so he will be able to clear that out. But that represented a huge chunk of time where he wasn't able to mine from his natural. I think he lost some more probes as well. Now finally rallying to the front here with the totality of his army. But did this buy enough time for Hero? That drop really uh, threw a wrench into the push of motive, but... Is it going to grind his gears? Or will he just roll through Hero now? That's, I guess, enough Sunkins. So that just barely bought enough time. Four Sunken colonies here on high ground. With two Lurkers. Should be good enough to hold this small number of uh, Dragoons and no Zealots in this army. So yeah, he should be able to hold on there. Sending out another probe gonna take a fourth base he does need at least two bases to work with otherwise he's not gonna be on a truly functioning economy it's like lurker drop coming in here could be hitting right as motive pushes over towards the natural which could be an excellent opportunity to deal some big damage there I'm gonna drop these lurkers out try to get some kills he's not actually right behind the mineral patches right now unfortunately so not really getting too much out of that Lings are going to try and surround this army. Is he getting some kills? Oh, he's stopping the gas at least, which is not bad. But I would have liked to see him move lurkers over here to really wipe out this uh, probe line. Another probe down here at the bottom center. Perhaps going to look for a, a expansion at that location as well. Drop now coming in. For hero, he's going to drop take this base. He could easily take this base as well. It is an island. Starting to drone up once again. Up to 62 here for Hero. He's really redroned well. And that's because of these defensive positions. He doesn't necessarily have to continuously build army. He can build just the bare minimum of army to hold behind the wall while redroning. And that's kind of what he's done here. Now that he's at 62 drones, though, I imagine we'll see a huge wave of units coming out of him with defilers. Lings, Hydras, Lurkers popping out from all different hatcheries. He's got 1-1 one, one done now for his Lings. He's about to be 3-2 on the Hydras here. Another Dropper Lord wave moving around the top of this map. And not a lot over here, but I think it's enough to hold this many drops. Three Zealots, four Cannons, two Templar. That should be good. And yeah... Hero just going to back away from this position. Been dropping that um, lurker there. Probably not the best idea. Throwing down a storm. Gonna get some kills. Definitely got some lings there. A few kills on some drones as well. Dropping down to just 50. I guess he might have hit a, a storm down here as well. I guess I'll have to picture and picture multiple things this game because there's a lot of action going around this map. Almost mined out in the main and natural here. 
Oh, another <laughs> another thing I have to picture in picture. Oh my god. Got my work cut out for me here today. I'm a little bit off. Uh, lurker here as well. I guess these lurkers still haven't been killed. The uh, geyser definitely went down there. Another drop coming into the bottom right. Back up to 64. Can motive shut that down once again. Oh! So close. So, so close. Surprised that we don't have... Um, yeah, very surprised that we don't have shuttle speed at this point. I think that would be a really good addition at, uh, right now. But um, doesn't have it just yet. Gonna come in for another drop here. The island base. Dark Swarm is available. That's a big move here for uh, Hero. He's gonna kill so many probes right now. That's, that is just a devastating blow to our Protoss. And although he's managed to take this base, he is now uh, just about on one base economy as the natural starts to run out here. And we've got dropper lords everywhere. I don't know which one of these are actually, uh, you know, full of stuff. This one for sure has lurkers in it. And Hero's starting to run away with this, guys. Another base going to go up in the top left-hand corner, but can... He hold on to this position. Finally going to get a robotic support bay. Looks like he's ready to start building reavers over here, but doesn't have that support bay. It's the reason he didn't have uh, speed on his drops, of course. The lack of the robotic support bay making that imposs an impossibility here. Archon seems like it's going to go down. Single Ling being dropped over here. And another base coming up for Hero down in the bottom right. Finally bringing an Observer with this. Gonna clear that out. Almost lost the Archon. That would have been rough. Keep that Archon alive because it can regen those shields and become a formidable force in another 200 seconds, 300 seconds, something like that. Just keep it around one of these bases maybe. Leave it down here so that he can defend this uh, expansion, perhaps. The Nexus coming down here. This is going to start to get really thin, though. The defensive lines for Motive. He's back. He's backed up all the way now. Completely on the back foot here. He's going to seed map control to Hero, who actually isn't moving out on the map too much. Um, he looks like he wants to take this base, but he can't without a drop. Um, big Dropper Lord fleet coming over here towards the top left it's gonna change course right now it's full of a lot of stuff but I think it's gonna get caught right now does look like it will manage to escape at least for now good storm there to clear out the lings but can't quite catch this uh this drop attack oh maybe he can kill this that's really really close I guess the dragon is out of range there more cannons necessary here in the top left. Of course, a drop with the Defiler will just shut that down completely. However, it never hurts to try. I think we should have speed soon. Dude, how do we not have shuttle speed here? There it is. Shuttle speed in the production tab. Pretty crazy if you ask me not to have that at this point. Um, this base is so wide open. Of course, Scourge there. But Scourge never deterred a Speed Shuttle Protoss from getting in, that's for sure. Speed Shuttle, much faster than the Scourge. You can never really catch it if the uh, Protoss player is any good. Oh, great storms there. Shutting this down fully as it tries to come in. Reavers are going to be brought up here to try and help out with this. Is he actually going to fire the Reavers or are you just going to lose them to the Lings? That's kind of crazy. All right, a few kills. Six kills. Eight kills. Nine kills. Wow. A lot of damage there from that Lurker. I think that was just down to... Um, motive just being a little slow with the Reavers not targeting, not using them, really. Uh, just kind of letting them waddle forward instead. And... Motive finally going to move out on the map once again. Though he's down to just 33 probes. He's still got a pretty decent gateway number. 
and his army is not too bad. Reavers here. I think we need to spread these out. One over here, one right there uh, would be my uh, assumption of what would be best. It's like the shuttle here. Rolling around the map. Does get picked off. That's unfortunate. Motive really needed to get some economic damage going here on Hero because Hero is huge. He's huge at this point with 3-3 three, three done on both uh, melee attacks and uh, ranged here. It's going to be very, very hard to take efficient trades unless we have Reavers and Templar and all that good stuff to deal with everything. This is a pretty sweet trade right now for Motive. Um, but as more Lings pop out, and we've got a few Hydras in the mix as well, I guess he will kill off this base. It's not the biggest deal in the world, though, for Motive. You know, he does lose some more probes back down to 38 once again. Uh, but he's got plenty of Nexi pumping away. And he's got two bases to work with. So that's really all you need as the Protoss. As long as you've got two bases rolling in this matchup, you can play defensive and be okay. You should be fine. Another another shuttle going down over here. Really not getting any damage right now. Um, good defense. Good defense. Very, very good defense from Hero. And... Unfortunately, here we're going to get pushed back here for now, but taking some decent trades. He hasn't started to lay down the, the plagues here just yet. But he should be able to get some of those going here pretty soon. Actually, doesn't have consume. What? We've had defilers for so long. How did he have the... Uh, we even saw some dark swarm earlier. Where did those come from? There we go. Losing Archons here and Templar going down as well. Finally... Hero going to take control of this map, and he's he should be able to. He's 80 supply ahead of the Protoss, and I'm not so sure how Protoss can win this game now, uh, aside from just sitting back and being super defensive and just trading uh, limitlessly. Uh, having more bases, I think, or having, like, half the bases, I think that's the only way to do it now. You just make everything islands and start making Corsairs, perhaps. Make some Corsairs. Uh, make lots of Reavers, Templar. Uh, I say Corsairs because if you're relying on drops as the Zerg player, the one thing that you can't handle is Corsairs. Mass Corsairs is going to crush you. Um, but oh, just getting the, the normal Templar and Archons and Reavers is fine too. Uh, drops do not go well into those. Looks like Reaver's going to drop out here, but almost gets killed immediately. These Templar are going to go down over here as well. This drop going a lot better than I think it should have. Great storm there to clear out a lot of those lings, but Reaver goes down before firing a shot. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Going after some of the most important buildings here. Templar Archives is really high on the list of important buildings to pick off. He does right-click and target that down here finally in the end. Motive losing control of his main. Starting to clear things up though now. Oh, come on. This Reaver's got to be pushed, thrown down here. Are we kidding? Are, are you joking me? What are we doing? Okay, there we go. Does get it. Three Reavers. A lot of cannons here on this high ground, but this may just be too much. Really great control here for, from Hero to just run up this ramp so efficiently against... Three Reavers and that many cannons? Dude, that was a really good final attack there from Hero. Pulling it together here at the end. Played a very calm, patient game with drops everywhere. Shutting down bases. It's not easy to do, but Hero makes it look smooth. Buttery smooth here. Let's take a look at that last attack once again. You can just see... How well he was able to mount that high ground because I think I missed uh, the first part of that. So the drop coming in while Motive is worried about that. While he's paying attention to that, a large army gets sent to the center of the map. He's sort of gathering everything up, bringing everything together here, opening up some pathways, sending out waves upon waves upon waves of units. Nothing in these overlords, but... 
Watch how everything just moves up this ramp so smoothly. Uh, if you've ever played Zerg, you know how hard this can be because everything tends to want to clump up, hitting the, the cannons at the front. And the Reaver Splash is just insane. It does so much damage and it can kill so many units at the same time. But watch this. Running up this ramp here. Everything just kind of running up into position and then immediately attacking as it should. He gets on top of everything so quickly and there's just not a moment for Motive to, to try and hold this. There's nothing to clear that. And he has to tap out. Really, really well done here. A pretty good game for my final game on Troy, if I do say so myself. Not bad, not bad. I think this was... Um, Maybe one of the best examples of what is possible here on this map. I'm not going to lament the passing of this one, though. As I think it's way past due. It's time to move on to the next wild and cheesy map that we have in the next season of ASL. I can't wait to see it, guys. What are they going to bring for us next season? What kind of torturous ladder experience are we in for in the next season of ASL? I can't wait to find out. Uh, looks like finally a Nidus Canal here for Hero. That's great. Getting one of those set up is very, very nice. But he really relied on drop uh, Dropper Lords this game to great effect, honestly. It's not easy to do, but he pulled it off brilliantly here. I thought Motive had a pretty decent position, but getting pulled apart by drops, not able to keep up, and not getting a shuttle speed for so long... I think is what might have you know, given the momentum back to Hero in this game. And, mo I mean, once Hero has momentum, a scary, scary Zerg player indeed. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.